What's up, Wayne Brown here with darkeffects.net and we are inside of Windows 10 and as you can see here we've got a folder open, opened and it's for SQL Server 2012. And so we're going to actually install this into our Windows 10 environment. So I've got a virtual clone drive installed and uh, if you're not really sure what that is, it's just a uh, program that gives you a virtual uh, CD drive just in case you don't have one or you don't feel like burning all of the images that you download on the CD. So in this case, I don't want to burn this onto a DVD. So what I want to do is that I want to right click on it and choose to mount the virtual clone drive to M drive. And that's all I'm actually going to pick up on it. And I'm going to come over here and I want to choose yes. And we're going to choose run setup. I want to choose yes here. Go ahead and close out of that window. Okay, now this is the first time that I've actually installed this program, so we're going to run through all of this together and see if we can actually have a successful installation. And so, uh, uh, hardware and software requirements, security docu documentation, online release notes, how to get SQL Server data tools, system configuration checker, install upgrade advisor, and so forth. you got all this stuff that you can go through right here over here to our installation and we want a new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation new SQL Server file over cluster installation so we're just going to go ahead and choose this one operation completed past eight failed zero warning zero skip zero so we're good to go click on OK Okay, so now we are on the uh, validate. So we're going to do the evaluation. Then we come over here and we're going to click on next. We are going to accept the terms. Let's click on next. And include SQL Server product update, 26 megabytes. And set up, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and click on next. Okay, we got a couple of warnings here for our Microsoft.NET application security and our Windows Firewall. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of this. Uh, everything else passed. Great. Let's click on Next. SQL Server Feature Installation. SQL Server Power Pivot for SharePoint. We're going to choose the first one. Click on Next. Okay, we want the Database Engine Services. SQL Server replication, let's see here, full text and semantic extractions for search. Let's go ahead and choose that. Data quality services. Um, includes a set of technologies for copying and distributing data and database objects from one database to another. Uh, let's go ahead and choose that. Uh, analysis services, reporting service. I uh, don't really want that, not on this environment anyway. Uh, we're not going to choose that. That uh, data quality client, SQL Server data tools, we want that. And um, we want the management tools, the basic and the complete. Okay, so we want to come down here. We want to change this to our G drive. The backwards compatibility as well. Let's go ahead and choose that one. All right, we're good. Click on next. Okay, we passed three. We failed zero, warning zeros, and skip zero. So let's click on next. Change this to G drive. We want to do a named instance of cars 2012. Let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, uh, our drive C, we need 4,174 required out of 75 gigs, so we're fine there. Uh, shared install direct 
directory is going to be here and our instance directory is going to be here. Be nice if I could put everything over here in G Drive, but that's okay. Go ahead and click on next. So let's go ahead and click on next. Windows authentication mode, mixed mode. We're going to choose mixed mode. So we added in our administrator here, which is my current user. Click on next. Let's go ahead and choose to add in my current user. Everything good there. Click on next. Uh, they're already doing the new 2015, I think, so I'm not even going to worry about doing 2012. Click on next. Click on next again. Configuration file is going to be located right there. So let's click on install and let it go. Okay, it seems like we have completed. It shows complete and everything succeeded very nicely. So we do know that SQL Server 2012 will install on Windows 10. Let's go ahead and close out of this and let's actually launch the program and see how it works. Let's go to uh, see if we got a management studio. Yep, right there. Let's right click on that. We want to pin that to our start. And it's going to be right here. Close out of that. Let's see if we can connect. Or if we've got to actually log in. Alright. Did good. So the first thing that I always like to do once I get inside of uh, SQL Server 2005. So I reckon I'm going to go ahead and do it with... 2012 as as well is that I like to create another user right from the get-go So let's come over here to our logins It usually opens up in another window, but it doesn't seem to want to do that on this one. So uh, We're gonna go ahead and create our user And we don't want to enforce the password policy. And so we're going to leave that there. We're going to go over to server roles. And we want to uh, choose system admin. System admin will allow that user to log into the management studio and have the same control over uh, it as your SA does and as our login does that we just logged in with. So we're going to leave everything else the way it is. Uh, everything is fine here. So let's go ahead and click on OK. Okay, so now what you do now is that you come over here and you choose to disconnect from object server. Then you choose to connect. And now this time, instead of, instead of choosing Windows authentication, we're going to come and choose SQL Server. And then we're going to type in the user that we just created and choose Remember Password and then choose Connect. And as you can see, we can connect on. So now we can just come in here and we can create databases and do whatever else that we need to do. Okay, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net inside of Windows 10 with Microsoft SQL Server 2012. All right, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.